You know, humans tend to spend most of their lives waiting. Trees are not waiting. They're in the mode. They're, in, they're ready. All wildlife are ready. What do I mean by wild? The word wild is a new word in English. Check it out. Go back. The word wild comes from the word wild. W-I-L-L-E-D. When Elizabeth talked of the wild or the wild <coughs> art, she was saying, who are these people that they don't recognise finesse and panache and lo loyalty to the th throne? They're wild. They're willed. They have their own will. They would not surrender to my will, the s supreme, serene sovereign of Britain. So when you see the word wild, it actually comes from the word willed. So I think we've always had a nervousness of willed life or wild life because they do have their own will. I would also say there's a tendency, a growing tendency to, the word is called anthropomorphology. A tendency by humans, very wrongly, to humanise animals or humanise wildlife. You may have a big pet dog and a big pet cat. They've been so modified by breeding over the centuries. They've lost, almost lost their nature. I'm aware of wild birds put in the cage. Even if the cage is gold and the food is organic, that bird still will beat off the side of the cage to get out. The saddest thing is, and it has happened the bulk of humanity, the saddest thing is the time comes when the gate opens and the organism, the creature, has lost the will, the wilderness within their nature and no longer is now fearful, is now the signs of the deeper depression, monotony, fearfulness, tiredness. This has come on that wild bird. I feel in a sense that has come on many of us, which is a great pity because our, that, you know, our nature is not fearful, it's not monotonous, uh, it's not tired, it's, it's, it's vigorous and we're just, um, just maybe very, very lucky to be alive. That's an understatement. Just, it's worth reflecting on <coughs> that we have a thing called life, whereas Mr. Lucy the other day on the phone said, those farmers that live in green deserts, these are the people that are in bed with depression, Mr. Lucy. The biggest farmers, the best farmers in Ireland are actually in psychiatric units. Many of them are cracking up because they know they've removed a thing called the Coon and Yuri. Are there any Irish speakers here? Coon and Yuri. Coon, a corner or a harbour. Gura, a hare. The hare's corner. Every field had a hare's corner. A dedicated space in every field was left ever for bumblebees and butterflies and bats and partridge and sloes and blackberries and there was meaning in it. But now it's the coon and your ease, the hare's corners are gone. In fact, we don't even remember that within 20 years we all had our hare's corner. And the hare's corner was equally important because that is where we brought what we now understand, what we would have called delayed children and adults with delays, delayed learning and so forth. That is where always the children of the neighbourhood or of that farmstead spent their time in the wild corner. I remember attending a series of lectures in psychiatry with a friend of mine who was doing psychiatry. He was a Kenyan Asian. He lived, he came from, he got a, he got a scholarship from England and he came to study psychiatry in Dublin, we shared a house 38 years ago, maybe, in my early 20s. And he was asked to do an assignment and what, how do they deal with, with, I'm careful not to use the word dysfunctional. There's so many concepts associated because within diversity, nothing is greater than the next. The schizophrenic is no less valuable than the Einstein with his Asperger's or the youngster doing his leaving with violent Tourette's or dyspraxia or the, t the 120 forms of autism. There is a place on this platform of life for every form of expression. There has to be. Gobas didn't approve of that, of course, neither did Goring. But in any event, Ranjard was asked to do an assignment, and he did a very simple assignment. He pointed out, in Kasumu and Mombasa, I know Kenya quite well, in those remote places, when adults and children began to display 
Uh, give me a word, Elizabeth. A spaciness. Okay, in modern terms, a mental illness. A disease. Autism is officially a disease. Disease. So someone, where are they sent? There's no medication. This is back in the 60s and 70s. They're sent to relations and friends deeper in the forest. So when children, I've seen it, I'm 30 years working in schools in many, many counties north and south, and I know that in the wild corner of the garden is where the special needs children will want to be. They want to be in a wild place. I re recommend people here read a very simple book published last year, translated from Japanese by an Irishman, John Mitchell, The Reason I Jump. And in that book, the little boy in Japanese is explaining the experience, the experience of autism, because autism is an experience. Other than a classification, schizophrenia is an experience. I learned that years ago during these lectures I attended. It is a real and live experience. 